What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through and show you this KY003 Hall Magnetic Sensor Module. So let's go. All right, so first off, this sensor can be purchased online. Now you can get it from a few different places, but at the end of the day, they're all pretty cheap, around those couple dollars, usually with free shipping. Now for those of you who are not aware, a Hall Magnetic Sensor is basically a switch that reacts to the presence of a magnetic field and it turns itself on and off or basically it'll put that signal as a digital one or zero if there's a presence of that magnetic field. Now we could use this on lots of different microcontrollers. Uh, in this case I'm going to set it up and program it for an Arduino but you could use it on a Raspberry Pi or ESP32 whatever you want. So if we look into the specs of this module, basically we have the Hall Effect switch, a resistor, an LED, and the three header pins. Now the LED is shows when the actual sensor can see that magnetic field, so it'll go on when it can actually detect it, otherwise it'll be off. Operating voltage between 4.5 to 24 volts. You've got the operating temperature, and the size there, that's about it. So next we're gonna move on to the wiring, which is pretty straightforward. We have the five volts connected up to the center pin, which is the uh, power pin. Then we have a ground that goes to the ground pin and the signal, which goes to the digital on the Arduino. Now you can go to any digital pin, just make sure that your code's adjusted to accommodate whatever pin that you've actually plugged it into. Now, I just wanna point out that I purchased my uh, module online and for some reason, and I've seen online as well that a few other people have this similar issue, that sometimes the signal and the negative pins are actually reversed around. So if it's not working and you're not getting anything coming through the signal or the actual LED is not coming on when you have the magnet on it, try switch it around um, and see if it changes and makes any difference. At the end of the day, it's only switching the signal and the ground wire is not going to affect it. And that's why that active or the five volt uh, positive pin is in the center. So if you did get it around the wrong way, it's not gonna be a big issue. As for the coding, what we have is basically the same as one of the examples. If you go file example basic, and then you've got digital read serial. Basically what we've got is a sensor pin, which I've got set as 52 because I've got it plugged into pin 52. Other than that, it's just basically reading the sensor pin, which it's going to set that value either as a one or a zero, and then it's just printing whatever the result is. So it's very basic code. Um, the thing with this sensor is it's always going to be outputting that one until you've got the magnet close to it, it'll jump across to a zero. So it's just the way these sensors have been set up um, and how it actually outputs via the digital pin or that signal pin. All right, so if we jump back to the board itself now, uh, we can actually see I've got this small little magnet here. So it's just big enough to be able to pick it up. But basically, the way this sensor works is it picks up via the polarity of that magnet. So it only works one way. So if I hold one side of the magnet up against the sensor, it'll actually turn on and it'll bring the LED light up and it'll send that signal out through to the Arduino. So you can see there, it's actually detecting it. Now, if I try doing it the other way and I flip the magnet around, I can put the magnet on the sensor itself and it still won't turn on, it won't detect it. Now, if I try from the other side, same thing if I have the polarity right, the sensor will pick up the magnetic field and it'll output the signal. But if I flip the magnet over, nothing. So that just shows how it only picks up the polarity from one side of the magnet on that sensor. So if we go back to the Arduino software, so via the tools and serial monitor, we can see there it goes from one as I go with the magnet closer to it, it goes to zero, which is the input from that signal pin. And when I take the magnet away, it goes back to one. So that's basically how the code works and what the results are on the actual uh, serial monitor. 
So that's basically how you set up code and why are the uh, hall magnetic sensor. Hopefully this video has helped you out uh, if you needed help setting it up. But if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you can keep up to date with similar projects like this. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.